What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 item review for you guys and today what we're going to be taking a look at is the brand new rising star item that was added to the game this afternoon and that is of course DJ Fluker of the San Diego Chargers. He is going to be playing in tonight's Thursday night football game against the Denver Broncos and guys he's going to have a big part in the game because he is going to be having to probably block either Von Miller or DeMarcus Ware depending on how they line up and that is going to be a very very tough task for him but we'll see what he looks like here in Madden 15 Ultimate Team because that's really what we care about so what I wanted to do quickly was hop in here and take a look at least at the uh, the first version of the card on the auction block here so we'll pull that up I'm gonna have to search for it here but again guys uh, when you're doing these uh, these rising stars keep in mind that you do need to get two of them obviously in order to get the upgraded version but the upgraded version usually is pretty solid unfortunately the problem with the the upgraded versions of these items is that they end up being ones that you can't sell it's kind of like the final edition items from Madden 25 so uh, something to think about at least but let's take a look here the cheapest one right now is a ground and pound chemistry rising star and that one's going for 10,750 coins now these tend to drop a little bit in price over the course of the week but that seems pretty expensive to me if you're looking to get two of these if you have to buy both of them you're going to need to be spending probably 20, 25,000 uh, uh, coins depending on uh, which ones that you want if you're looking at chemistries or if you don't care about chemistry. But let's take a look at the base item attributes here for the Rising Star. This is the one that you can pull in packs. 91 strength is pretty decent. It's not spectacular. One of the biggest areas of concern here is that it does only have a 75 awareness. Now, if you saw my, my previous Mythbusters video where I kind of went over awareness for offensive linemen, what I I kind of came to the conclusion of was that offensive linemen the awareness does matter but it matters a lot more for run blocking than it does for pass protection which I think was kind of interesting but either way when we continue to look down here at some of these other at, uh, attributes the base pass block on this one 81 is not very good now it does go to a 90 for run block so that's nice and it has a decent impact block at 88 but uh, and then also keep in mind all these things run block strength footwork pass block footwork and all those type of things do not matter whatsoever i proved that in the first mythbusters episode so that is going to do it for the base gold version but I do also want to quickly go over the attributes. I haven't done the item set yet, so guys, you're going to have to follow along with me on your screen here with the graphic that I'm going to be putting up, but we'll go over his attributes real quickly here. It does get a decent upgrade in most of these areas. It does go up to a 93 strength, which is nice. Um, the run block goes up to a 94, so we definitely like to see that. The pass block goes up to an 86, which is... It's okay, but it's not great considering that you're going to have to spend a lot to get this item. I think that that's kind of a bad attribute for a right tackle as well because typically they're going to be charged with, you know, having to block one of the better pass rushers on the opposing team. And that can be a very tough thing for a guy that doesn't have very good pass block. So I, I'm kind of disappointed in that about this item. Obviously, he's one of the better run blockers at a 94. And then the other thing, too, that I really liked about this item is that it does have 91 impact block, which, oddly enough, is the second best of any right tackle in the game behind a gold version of Lane Johnson, which I think had 94 impact block. So kind of a bizarre thing that Lane Johnson has such an amazing impact block. But other than that, DJ Fluker does have the second highest impact block in the game. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, guys, I think, like I said, overall, I think this item is a little bit overpriced. I probably would not spend the 25, 20 to 25,000 that you're going to have to spend to actually get it. But like I said, it will go down in price likely over the course of the week. So if it does drop down, if you pull one of them and you want to get that upgrade, can't really blame you. Uh, with that being said, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press the like button. If you are new to the channel, also be sure to press the subscribe button because that's how you'll know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.